A, in this video, we're going to be telling you the mistakes that you kind of want to avoid if you don't want to be struggling and being like, ah, later on. Now, first things first, as odd as it may sound, do not waste your gems on rolling. Yes, you heard correctly. Do not waste your gems on rolling. Why? You're going to want your gems to progress further in the game. Yes, this is one of those games. So if you don't like these type of games, you already know this game isn't for you. Walk out. Now, three ways to level up playing the story claiming your activity funds because like an idle game you have activity funds that cap out at 24 hours and let's say if you couldn't play the game for today well you could still at least get some exp and then the third and final way would be doing gates now clearly each gate has a different you know rarity a b c d e f s i don't think there's actually an f but you know it goes from e to s and uh as you get up in the letters uh the more exp you get and the different rarity of the portal also depends on the loot or not so much the loot, but the experience and the gold. That's what you're really looking for there. The loot doesn't change. It, it really doesn't. Uh, why did I show this as well? Because remember, we were on the topics of your gems here. You're going to use your gems to um, buy these keys. Now, as you buy the keys, if you can see here, if you didn't know, this is simple maths right quick. This is 150 for the first purchase and then it jumps to 350, which means it's an increase by 200 from 350 to uh, 360. The other way that you would use your uh, gems here instead of using it for the keys to level up uh, would be Encore Dungeons. Same thing here. You buy it for the first time, 150, 350. So yeah, that part already sucks. They're kind of sucking your gems out. Gold in this game? Scarce. A minimum of four weapons for Jin Wu. You're not really going to be switching between them like that because let's be for here, there's not going to be much need to do that. And I would recommend you using a blue weapon over a prep weapon because it's easier to max that out and it doesn't take as much materials to limit break it once it is, uh, you know, level 20, level 40, so on and so forth. As you can see here, a purple takes four and then a blue only takes three. So yeah, that's resources easier to limit break and then easier to limit break again if you limit break it twice because it can be limit broken in total uh 10 times five times for the first half five times for the second half but on the second half of limit breaks for blue weapons because i don't know about purples for the blue weapons you get two percent per star so that's five stars that's 10 percent increase in stats so i think that kind of makes up for the uh decrease you know in damage from the purple weapons until your purple weapon is, you know, fully limit broken like the blue, then you're going to use that. But unless you're dropping money, you're not going to have a fully limit broken purple weapon, you know. So it does take a little bit longer to kill things as you get up higher in, you know, the game. And when you start playing the game, you're going to be curb stomping everything. Then once you get around to chapter five uh, to the end of six going on to seven, you're going to realize, wow, this is really ramping up really quickly. So you're definitely going to want to make sure that you have a couple of weapons that are already at level 40 or level 60. If, if you can do that, if you can't, well then shit. Now, let's talk about your hunters. Same thing here. You want to make sure you're using at least one of every affinity. I can't stress that enough. You want to make sure you have at least one of every affinity because there are going to be some missions that be like, oh, well, this they're weak to this. Granted, you don't have to use it. No, but it would be a good rule of thumb to at least have one of every affinity that you know, that you like and that you're going to use. Look at their skills, see what they do. You definitely want a character like Kim Cho that, you know, specializes in breaking. Same thing as uh, Yu Jin Hu. They also specialize in breaking and so does Wu Jin Cho. But he's an SSR. You might get him in your first pool. You might not. But that is my rule of thumb. That's what I'm going to do personally. That's not something that I would say is a mistake or something that you should do, but more so like a recommendation. Now let's talk about artifacts. Um, So there's four artifacts in all to helm the armor, the hand and the feet. And some of you might've already guessed by now. Yes, each character, you're gonna want to put a set on them. So that is four times five. You're going to need 20 pieces of gear. Yeah, you're gonna need five sets of gears for uh, Jin Wu, and then for your four hunters that you're gonna be using aside from Jin Wu. Now, I'm not going to tell you, you have to farm these, but you have to farm these. Because once again, once you reach that, that upper, uh, you know, the sixth and the seventh chapters, you're going to be wishing you did. It's going to make your life a lot easier. And this would also be the reason why you want to save your gold, because guess what? It might not look like much, but when you upgrade it, it's going to hurt your pockets, right? So when you get gear, make sure that it's going to be gear that you use. Now, helm and boots, they can roll attack, 
Well, specifically Helm, it can roll attack percent and it can roll additional attack and it can roll HP and uh, defense. For the boots, it can run defense pen, healing given, as you can see. Um, there's also one, there you go, HP, crit damage. Crit damage one right there. I don't believe there's a crit rate. There might be a crit rate. I don't know. And as you can see, uh, this is recommended stats up here to MP might be a main stat. We don't know. Or at least I don't know as of right now. You got the hard of the gloves. You got the new hunters. Then you got the holy gloves. And then you have the black lion set. So these are the first four sets. Now, I'm thinking that once you beat chapter eight, these are completely new sets completely new sets because there's no way it would be the same four sets when you're doing your hunters make sure they're going to be hunters that you use and you don't even have to do one of every affinity that was just a recommendation not something you would have to do but the same thing like Jin Wu, the levels that you're, the weapons that make sure you're going to be using them my recommendation would be the uh, dagger the sword and it does look like the daggers all have the same attribute as you can see here, Hunter Weapon increases your basic attack by 12%, increases your basic attack by 8%. So I'm going to assume, at least for the blue and the purples, you're going to relatively have the same effect. SSRs are probably not going to have the same effect. We can just check that real quick here to confirm our suspicion or not. So let's see. It doesn't say anything. I'm guessing because this is its you know, effect here, so it's not going to say anything like that. But uh, it might. It might. If any of you have a red weapon, let me know in the comments below because I don't have a red weapon clearly. So I'm not able to actually look at that and be like, oh, yeah, this is exactly what it does. I'm not going to give out misinformation. I'm just going to assume that it may or it may not just because of that extra ability that it has. But um, purples also have extra abilities. They have that stat on it. So I want to say that they should. But I'm not going to say that they will. Um, those are the key points to this video. Um. The one question that you might ask is, is there a method to reroll? Yes, there is a method to reroll. However, for you PC enjoyers, guess what? This method is easy for us. You don't want to reroll on the PC. Um, and I'm actually going to link this down below in the description because this was a method found by a, another YouTuber, not me. I forget the name off the top of my head, but I promise you it's going to be stamped there in the description. I'm going to put it in the first comment and pin that comment. So as you can see here, there's a delete account button. Um, Apparently that's a 30 day um, account delete. You know, clearly they don't want you to reroll. That's 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 just that marble skull. They just don't like rerolling, and I don't understand why because we're gonna find a way to reroll. But if you play on mobile, it says reset account. So the method that we're all gonna be using is on May 8th when this game drops, we're going to have at least 19 emulators running. I'm lying. We're not going to have 19 emulators running, but you get the gist. You're going to roll on the emulator and every time you don't get something that you want, you're going to reroll. My rule of thumb is when you are rerolling, get at least two SSRs in the first pull. If you don't get two SSRs, trash the account, trash the account, trash the account, trash the account. Do not get it. Do not start playing unless it's two SSRs, especially for you. You sweats, you gotcha sweats. Come on. Day one, gotcha sweats, Nike sweats, freaking Epic 7, Summoner's War, come on. The re-rolls are here. You have an additional chance of getting this guy along with the other SSRs, and then you could also get the weapons. This one is just kind of like a no-brainer to hit, but you would have to use your uh, crystals to do this because uh, these are special tickets. These aren't regular tickets. Regular tickets are for this banner. So... I would say for the first summon, yes, use uh, 2,500 to pull on choice banner. All of them are good. Even the healer. There was somebody, there was somebody in the discord that was saying, oh, you got, you got this guy, a healer. He's a healer. Reroll. Um, no, no, you, you want a healer in this game. Trust. You want a healer in this game, especially like I'm only in chat. We're only in chapter seven right you're gonna want a healer in this game especially once you start getting to the part where you can uh you know do your battlefield trials and uh when you get to the gates where it's like s27 i'm only level 24 yeah you're gonna want a healer don't sleep on the heels don't sleep on the damage that these guys can do because they will hit you like a truck 
So, uh, yeah, aside from that, there's not really much else for you guys that I have to recommend. If you did like this video, like and subscribe because it really helps the channel get, you know, put on that algorithm. And shout out to the YouTuber who I'm going to link down below. Ugh, I really wish I could remember your name at the top of my head, but I can't. And I sub to them too. But um, yeah, that's it. Get out of here, guys.